In this video, I will show you how to create line chart in Microsoft Excel. So before that, let us examine first our data. We have here a date column. We have a Google stock price, and we also have Amazon stock price. Date started from June 4, 2015, and the last date is up to June 3, 2016. So that's a complete one year transaction of stock price. We have here the daily values in US dollars for Google and for Amazon. Now, usually we use line chart if we need to create or display trends between our data. We want to know if the value of Google stock price is going up or going down. We also want to know how much different difference it has to the Amazon stock price. Now, to start with chart, let me highlight date and Google column by selecting column A and B. And then we go to insert tab. And from insert tab, you can select a line chart icon. We have here several options for line chart. Usually we have the ordinary line chart. We have the uh, stock line. We also have the line with markers. Let me use the regular line chart. So once I click that, Excel will display a line chart that has a y-axis of the amount of stock price, while on the x-axis we have the date of transaction. As you can see, we have here June 4, 2015, and we have up to around May 4, or this is technically up to June 3, 2016. If you want to display the rest of the data, you can actually stretch this one. And you can see at the bottom, Excel will define the rest of the data for this line chart. Now, we have here the fluctuations of our stock price for Google. And in order to maximize the spacing for this chart, we can actually modify some parts of the line chart. Let us start with the y-axis. Since we don't have any value or any value that is less than 400, let me use 400 US dollars as the minimum value for the Y axis. If you want to do that, you can simply click on the Y axis, double click. Excel will display the format axis tab on the right side of the screen. And we have here the axis options where we can set the minimum and maximum value. We will not change the maximum, but we will change is the minimum value. The minimum value here is 400. Press enter. And then, as you can see on the chart, Excel will automatically arrange the values from around 900 or 850 as the maximum up to the minimum 400. Next, you can also change the interval units. Since, as you can see, we only have here uh, major units of 50 and minor units of 10. Technically, that's the interval value of the y-axis. In the meantime, let's leave it as, as is. Let me cl close the format axis settings. What else can we do for a line chart? We can actually add a trend line for a line chart. A trend line is actually the summary of the trend for a certain value of your line chart. So for example, I want to know the summary. Is it going up or is it going down? If you want to display that trend line, you can simply click on the line chart, right click, and then you can simply select add trend line button. When you click add trend line button, the default one is a linear trend line. That means in summary, the output of the stock price from Google starting from June 4, 2015 up to June 3, 2016 is going up. 
However, there are some other options that we can choose from when it comes to trend line. For example, let us use the polynomial option. Instead of a line, it will create a curve that will define the fluctuations uh, or changes on the value of the data in our line chart. We can actually increase the order of the polynomial so that we can simply look into more curved value into the line chart as well. At the bottom of the trend line settings, you can actually add a or check the checkbox to display equation on chart. That's if needed. You can uncheck that. You can also check if you want to display the R squared value. What is the R squared value? This is the R squared value, 0 .0, 0 0.8014. Let me click on the trend line if I need to set it up again. And then right click format trend line. Now for the format trend line, we have here also a forecast. Forecast is dependent on the value of the X axis. For example, if we want to forecast for the next 30 days, all we need to do is to type 30 in the forward forecast. Press enter and close the format trend line dialog box. When I type 30 over there, as per forecast of line chart, the value of Google will go up, up to around less than 800 US dollars for the next 30 days. If you are using a monthly interval for your X axis, when you type 30, that means 30 months after the last date available. So make sure that you define first the X axis before you use the forecast. Okay, last, I want to remove the R squared and I want to remove the forecast. Let's go back to format trend line. Just display again a zero for period for the forecast. And then uncheck the display R squared. Now, if you want to compare the value of Amazon stock price in this table or line chart as well, you can simply click on column C, copy, then right click paste. All right, so this time we have the Amazon line chart, as you can see, for comparison. You can actually click on that line chart, go to format, and you can actually select a color for that line chart to make it more descriptive on your report. Okay, now we can also add a trend line for this, right click add trend line and use the same trend line polynomial order of type for this example all right by the way if you want to reformat the trend line you can always go back to the effects or you can click on the format itself and add some transparency all right just to make it more smooth in this area and now we have here the line chart of Google and Amazon stock price. So we can simply change the title, the title of this chart. This is stock price. Okay, and that's it for this one on how to create line chart in Microsoft Excel.